Morning all, this is a quick tutorial on the Travel Boast app that I've recently started using. First thing you need to do is download the app, you can see it on the bottom of my screen there, Travel Boast, and then all you do is tap on it and open it up, and it normally goes to the country that you're in. Anyway, in the top left hand corner there you can see Start Point, so we tap on that, Enter your start point. I'm going to put London because I have a bit of an idea of something to show you. Uh, on the drop down list, it will then give any towns that you've put in that match your description. So we click on the town and it drops a car into London. As you can see in the top right now, it's flashing destination. So we click on that and I'm going to enter Lille, which is just in France and there you see the two choices and we're going to go for the French one which is there now because there's only two points it draws a direct line between the two because it thinks you've just gone from A to B so use your finger to gently move the map and then thumb and forefinger like when you're magnifying a photo or something to expand the map and then simply with one finger on the line drag it onto the um, road that you'd like it to follow. Don't put too many curves in it because otherwise the icon will flutter about like a little bee and it becomes slightly confusing. But as you can see, it's got us there round to Folkestone, up to Dover. We're then going to drop it into Calais. Excuse me, run along the north coast to Dunkirk. I'm going to drop that a bit there. And then south to Lille, where it's going to stop. Let's just have a check back. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It could do with going up a little bit there and down a little bit there. Okay, that's that done. Now what we do is tap the middle button, the play button down at the bottom. It'll create your video and it'll show you what you've actually created. So you can see the bar on the bottom turning white and you can see the car following the route that we've put in down to Lille. Video length there is 13 seconds and the model size, which is the size of the car icon, is 0.6. I found 0.6 to be fine. Then on the bottom left button with the one arrow, the play arrow, that speeds the video up. That's double speed. And that's triple speed. I just keep it at simple one speed. Um, the next one is maps. And that will show, you see how it's flashed red there. And put a uh, the UK flag in the bottom. And it flashed again when we come into France. And it's put the French flag in the bottom. So I like that. That's fine. The next one is aspect ratio. So that's either square or panorama or portrait depending on what you want to use it for the next one after that shows either kilometers miles nautical miles or nothing at all i prefer that on miles and that's showing us the mileage as we go along and at the end it'll show a total mileage and an overview of the map so back up to the top click the gray arrow back button now all of these yellow dots and you can add more if you want to. All you need to do is drag them. But all these yellow dots you can actually do something with. So we're going to hold on that one in Dover. And it brings you through to this screen. Now the premium transport screen down the bottom. That's for the paid version which I don't use. So what we're going to do. We're going to change that icon. We're going to tap on the sailing boat. And we're going to change it to the pirate ship. And it shows it in the top that it's changed it. We're then going to go back. Now it shows in the icon that it's changed to boat, but the problem is it'll use the rest of the journey from there on as the boat. Now I only want to show the boat crossing the water. So I'm going to click on the one in Calais and I'm going to change it back to the car. And we'll be using the red car, which is changed to in the top of the screen. I'm going to go back, hit the central play button and let's see what it does now. So it's showing the car in UK, goes down to Dover, we change onto a pirate ship to sail across, and then we get back in our car and continue the journey to Lille. 
let's go back again now let's have a look at the next couple of options so let's say that when we got to this stop here just before ashford we wanted to see coming into ashford there we go let's go back again and you can see the speech bubble on that um, icon let's press play and it'll show you what it's done now so as we're coming into ashford it says coming into ashford it changes to sailing boat and we go back into france so let's go back again and uh when we get to Folkestone, yes, yeah, let's use that one. Go into annotations again. This time we're going to add a photo and it'll go to your uh, library. Now, here's one I took yesterday. I know it says welcome to Scotland, but just for fun, let's put that in. You can expand it as I've just done. Click on choose and it drops it there. Arrow back. And though it shows a speech bubble, all it means is there's an annotation in that icon. Let's press play again. The car goes from London, approaches Ashford, and then as it comes to Folkestone, it flashes up with the image that we've inserted. Let's go back again. So there we are. Very simple app. When you're ready to export it, you press on play. You can see the bar at the bottom change in white and fill in as it creates the video. And then when it's created and it's ready, you'll see it change to all white and save video to camera roll, which is what we want to do. Then I click on save video to camera roll and then click on that. It'll then go to save video. Once it says it's saved, click OK, just ignore that. It says it saved it to your camera roll. So all we have to do now is go into my camera roll and there it is, the latest video upload. And there it is. So, thanks very much for watching. Please give us a subscribe, thumbs up.